What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RP series and the quest system. So in today's episode, we will actually add legitimate quests into the UI and then be able to select them and have the description and name and so on. It's gonna be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. <laughs> So basically in the last episode we made that we can go into a quest dealer, open the UI and we have a list of the quests available and our fields over here so when we select a quest. So what I'm going to do is fill in the actual quest that our quest dealer will have and then be able to select them and fill in this um, gaps over here. So let's begin. Um, so let's go into the where is it, where is it, quest system folder and let's open our quest giver. So, as you may remember, in the last episode, we also set up the structure. So, we have all the necessary information for our quest, like the name, description, if it's secondary, and if it's uh, completed. So, what we're going to do is make a refer an array of a structure of quests in our quest giver. So, let's go into here, into variables, add a new variable, and create a variable called quests. And this will be type s underscore quest. And then we can select this and let's go into here, into the details panel and in variable type, we're going to change this to be an array. So it is a list of quests and let's compile, save. And as you can see, we can now start adding quests. So basically you would go into each of your dealers and start adding a quest. Now let's go ahead and make sure to click this eye icon. And it's very important because it will allow us to add quests directly from here. So we select now this guy. And we go, you can see now we have the variable quest and I can start adding the quest. Um, for now, it's going to mm, add like two or three in this blueprint. So we have, you know, some quest to go as an example. So let me just add a new quest and let's just name this. I don't know. Um, hey, yeah, <laughs> um, uh, you know, run and jump. You know, this really wouldn't be the quest. <laughs> just make a quick example. Uh, let's make another quest now. Um, okay. <laughs> Random stuff, okay? It's just an example. Okay, so with that said, now we have the quest that our quest giver will have. And what we're going to do is when we interact with our dealer and create the widget and add it to the scene and uh, the screen, sorry, and so on, what we're going to do is go until the end and make a for each loop. So we'll go ahead and go through the whole quests, okay? Through the whole array of the quests. And then what I'm going to do is get our quest widget that we have, and then we're gonna create here an event which will add the quest into the list. So for each one, it will be adding a quest. So let's go into here and go into the uh, quest giver widget, which is this one. And let's go into the event graph, delete all this, and create a new custom event. And this will be add quest. So as an input parameter, it will contain the quest that it will add, which in this case, it will again be s underscore quest. And then on here, we can do extend it and break it. So now as you can see, we have all of the information. This is very similar on what we did with the equipment system, okay? But now instead of the items and so on, this is for the quests. So on here, we can now go ahead and create a new widget. In this case, it will be the slot. So it'll be the quest slide. So now we are creating a slide on here. So we'll add it into this list. Um, so we have to also add it into that list. So let's just select the vertical box and change the name into quests uh, list. And then make sure the ticket is variable so we can now access it from here. So on quest list, just get it and then say add child. Now we can pass this as a child. So connect it here. So it will be now added into that specific panel, into that list. And then let's also select this uh, slot widget that we have just created. And uh, sorry, set padding. So this will just create some spacing so it will look a bit nicer. So we can just right click, split this. And in the padding top, let's put like 15. So it will leave some margins some space. If we were here to put um, in the padding in the top 15, it will be living with that space. So you get the idea, right? It will be done, but dynamically when we add the slot. Great, so uh, now let's pass in the parameters that we'll need. So the name, the description, the secondary, and, and so on. So let's go back into our quest slot and let's select this text and rename it into quest name text. 
and let's make sure that its variable is ticked so we can access it from the other side. And now we can just compile, go back into another widget, and now from our quest lot widget that we have just created, we can now get the text that we have just created. So get quest name text, and then just set text on here. And now we can just go ahead, get the name, and just pass it through here. And I can just, for example, put it here, it's a bit more organized. That will click, and like so. And now we are passing that specific name into there. Um, let's also go back into the quest giver before we forget and call that. So every time we uh, we go through the loop, we'll add a quest. And here we say what quest? Well, the one that we have in our variable in the array. Great, and let's go to the quest slot and go into the graph and we're gonna be adding two more variables. So in variables, gonna be the description. So we'll also have it in the slot and this will be a string. And then also we'll be adding uh, the, the secondary and this will be a Boolean. So now we can compile and save. For now, we'll leave it like this, go back. We can actually close the slot right now and then go back into the widget, which is slot and then set the description and in this case the description will be uh this one so I just plug it here we can also reroute it so double click double click to make it a bit nicer and then lastly you can again get it from our slot that we had just created and then set the uh, secondary variable so now the slot will also have all the information of our quest so later on we can use access it from our slot directly and it will just be perfect. So as you can see, now this will work. Uh, let's also go into the quest giver widget. And now we can just get all the things that we created. So we can just go into the quest list, select all of our slots and delete them because they were just as an example. And now if I press play, I go into the uh, quest giver, press E. Now there we go, we have the two quest variables. So we have Heya and Kiki, <laughs> the ones that I just create it real quick. Um, of course, right now we cannot uh, select them or whatever, but that will be the next thing that we'll do right now. And, and they will also be containing our description and it's, if it's secondary and so on. So great. So let's go ahead and make sure that we can select them. And then that information will pass into this panel over here. So we can preview and slot and so on. So what we are going to go is doing the quest giver widget, go into the graph. And then we are going to go also into the uh, quest slot. So let's make a reference into from our slot into this widget because now in this widget we are going to create a custom event that will be select slot. Um, but our slot doesn't have you know a reference into our this widget, so we cannot access it. So let's create one. So let's go into the quest slot, go into the graph, and select uh, this new variable icon. And let's put here um, quest dealer uh, widget. And now this will be type that will be underscore quest uh, giver. And uh, not dealer, giver. Let's rename this giver. So it's saying through the whole uh, product. Great. So now we have that um, access there. So now we can save, go back into here, and add it again. So from our slot created, set the widget will be the quest giver widget and in this case this will be self because it's that widget itself now from here let's create a new custom event and this will be select quest and this will basically just receive all the information as the uh, name which will be a string the description which again will be a string and then if it's Secondary. There we go. Let's uh, go ahead and use put this as Boolean. Save. And now uh, basically we'll have all that information there. So we're gonna go into the quest slot and delete all this and go into the button and then unclick. So when we click the slot, we'll go ahead and get the quest giver widget that we uh, had now referenced and then select a uh, quest. Uh, event and now we can just passing our description to description secondary to secondary and for the name because we only pass it as a text well there's no problem we can just get our text 
and then say get text, which is this uh, this one here, and just plug it there. It will convert them, and there we go. Great, so now basically our select quest will be receiving all the parameters of the slot, specific slot that we have selected. So now we can go back into the designer, select this title here, and say selected quest text. And make sure to click is variable. Let's do the same with description. Selected quest description. And this will be is variable. So now in the graph, I can just go get the selected quest text get it and then set the text and this will basically be the one that we have just received and then we can do the same with the selected quest description and then call the set text which is this final one and then just managed to plug it in there we go uh put in the description and now for now secondary we'll leave it like that we'll probably do it in the next episode but now basically i can go press play i can go into my quest giver I can select a quest from each slot, and now you can see that we have all the information. Hey, yeah, with the title and then the description, run and jump. And then Kiki it will contain the awesome description that I that I wrote. So you can see everything is working, and we can just go into the quest giver and start adding more quests on here, you know, whatever. And it will also go ahead and appear here, as you can see. So everything will basically work and of course you can also add them directly from the one in the level as we made it public so for example you want to have different quest givers in the scene and this guy will give you a specific uh, quest and another guy over here will give you another quest so you can just then select the other guy from here and then with the variables there you can just add the quest that you will like and everything will go ahead and start to work um so that's it guys if you found the tutorial helpful i really appreciate your, you could like the video and subscribe to the channel the prior files will be available on my patreon and youtube members so check it out join my discord server follow me on my socials and now yes with all that said bye bye